Hi everyone, I'm Paula from the Travelling Craft Room. Now today we're going to be painting our, um, our little dragon coin banks. We are. Um, this is one that I started painting earlier. Now I'm painting this dragon um, using sort of reds, golds, yellows, oranges, um, sort of in the style of Chinese, um, Chinese dragon to make him look a little bit funky. Now I'm going to just show you with the red. This red paint that I'm using, it's a beautiful colour. Um, and when you first paint it on, I don't know if you can see that, it looks a little bit pink. But when you put more layers on, the redder it gets, it does. So where it's red on the rest of the dragon, I've put more layers of paint on there. So you can see you can see how it layers up nicely I'm just spreading the paint out nice and thinly because that helps it to dry quicker too it does I'm just giving him a little bit more of a coat of paint up here on this side nice and red that looks now his legs still looking a little bit pink so he needs a bit more paint on there just to make him more red not pink I've got my water pot here I'm just going to rinse my brush off like nice clean brushes for our projects helps the colours to stop mixing and I'm just using a bit of kitchen towel to wipe my brush on. I'm going to use some of this lovely orange paint and I'm going to paint the backs of his wings orange. But you can paint any parts of him whatever colours you like. If you like all red you can paint him all red if you want to. Um, if you want to just do him orange, that's absolutely fine. It's entirely up to you. And you can see how nice that looks. Got a little orange wing. I'm going to do the back of the other one as well. Some more paint. Don't need lots of paint on your brush when doing this because um, these paints are really strong. So that they, they a little tiny bit goes a really long way. It does. I've got too much on my brush there. Let's take a little bit off. There we go. Look. So I'm just coming down the edge of that wing at the front and do the same this side as well okay let's not brush off again So it's basically just about using the colours and um, what colours you like and just keep on building it up until you've until you finish painting him. And try putting a bit of gold paint in there. So again with the gold. It's going to take a couple of layers of paint, so if you get the first layer on and let it dry first and then once that first layer is dried you can add, you can add to it and build up the colour.
Can you see how it's looking? We've also got some glitter here as well. All right, I'll just dip my paintbrush in the orange. So with my little packet of glue, I've just snipped off a really, really tiny corner. Can you see how that glue comes out really small amount at a time? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to put some glitter on my dragon. So I'm just kind of blobbing the glue about and spreading it about where I want to put um, my my glitter i'm doing this very quickly but you can take your time and do yours and smooth it all out nicely so i've got my piece of paper on the table i'm going to use this as my as my glitter saver so that when i sprinkle the glitter anything that i don't anything that i don't use it's just going to fall into the paper onto the paper and then i can I can use it then to pop it back into the tub so I haven't lost any then. I'm just going to sprinkle my glitter over the tip of the tail where I've placed the glue and underneath, don't forget to do underneath the tail as well. that a little tap now because I haven't waited for my paint to dry this glitter is going to stick to this paint but if you wait until your paint is dry first then if you leave and wait until the glitter is all dry and the glue is dry you would be able to brush these little flakes of glitter off with um, a dry um, paintbrush you would so what I'm going to do now with my paper I'm just going to pick this up and I'm just going to use it to pop my glitter back into the tub. So then if I'm doing another project, I've got some more glitter saved that I can use on there too. So that's basically how you decorate your dragon. So it's just a case of keep working at him until he's fully decorated. Bye.